Hello everyone, welcome back to The Real South Africa. We have a, another amazing episode that I'm sure you guys will love. We have a family that comes all the way from San Diego, California to visit us here in Johannesburg, South Africa. Um, they decided to let us in on a little secret on how they got here and the whole story. So we want to share this with you now. And like I said, we truly appreciate the fact that they're willing to share with us and of course, love, like, and subscribe to our channel, and we will see you on the inside. Thank you. All right, guys, as you already know, The Real South Africa is a true travel and tourism company based in Johannesburg, South Africa. Yes, we are African Americans, and we have a travel company because we want you guys to experience with this family is experiencing here in South Africa as well. So just stay tuned and uh, relax and just enjoy the conversation. Of course, leave a comment and of course, subscribe to our channel. And of course, we would love for you to share as this is a grassroots movement for everyone to see. And of course, you can book your trip to South Africa. This is Mark Blanton from The Real South Africa. These folks have actually seen some of our videos and now they're actually in the video. So it's going to be interesting. We're sitting here in Johannesburg and they're on their trip here to South Africa. And so at this point, it's myself, Mark Blanton. And of course, I have Dr. Latasha Blanton, Real South Africa. Yeah, absolutely. So we're just going to have a short conversation with this wonderful family here from San Diego. I'm going to let y'all guys introduce yourselves. So. I'm just looking at you, or you want me to look at the camera? You can look anywhere you want to look. Look anywhere you want to look. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sandra Beckley. I'm Darius. I'm Kaylin. And I'm Jermaine Beckley. Okay. And we're the Beckleys on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I thought y'all was going to come out all hype. <laughs> you know? And like they was going to start singing for a second. Okay, cool. So now, you guys decided, for some odd reason, to come to South Africa. What happened? What, what, what was the story? I'm sure there's a story behind it. Who wants to tell it? I was going to point that <laughs> Actually, my girlfriend's husband, uh, Mark, um, and Angela, what's her last name? I can't remember. It was just that quick. I forgot. It happens. Wilson. Okay. Wilson. Yes. Wilson. Thank Shout you. out to Mark Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, so Mark was the one that actually mentioned it. He's like, he sent me this link. Let me send you this link. Okay. Um, I know this guy, and this is the, the you know the tour that they have. I was like, "Whoa, those prices are great! Mm -hmm. Let's do it. We, can we do it together?" You know, so we picked the date and you know paid our deposit, and I just got more excited. And as, I, well, before I even, I think before I even got to the deposit, I had already started changing things because first it was mm -hmm. just first I was just coming to Johannesburg seven days. Okay. Next okay. thing you know, it was ten days. Okay. Then it was th oh, thirteen because <laughs> I had a crew <laughs> that <National Park. Yeah. laughs> and then at the last minute, I had a catch up. <laughs> Okay. 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 That's exactly how it works. I guess. Right. I guess. It, I guess it happens. Yeah. I was like, uh, "We're going together, but I'm gonna stay there longer." Basically, is what I told him. We, so we picked the same days, but okay. I was like, "Yeah, we we going for longer. This is a trip of a lifetime. I can't just be in Africa for seven days." Okay. Wow. Okay. So for o overall, it kind of worked out a little it bit. Did. A little bit. So do you feel like you've been here? I know it's only been right at nine, and then you got a few more days. Has does it feel like it's been? Long enough? Could you stay longer? Like, where are you feeling? I could definitely stay longer. I think three weeks would have been great. You yeah. Know? Really? A week? It well, probably a week and a half here. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, Maybe right. a week in Cape Town, and right. still the same amount of days in in Kruger. At least that's the way I feel. I know he feel different. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, is, so is that the story about how y'all got here? Is that is that what happened? Literally, yeah. That's okay. Because I'm sure there were some people that were saying. Hey, don't go there. You don't need to be over there. Why are you over there? You didn't. Did you have that? No, no. My family mostly they know that we travel a okay. lot. Uh, and then, of course, me and her being prior Navy, uh, That's right. we've already been all around the world. So, um, you know, they know we're gonna do if we're gonna go. On, we're gonna go on vacation yeah. some, at some point. So it's kind of like it's almost been like yearly, right? Uh, yeah. For the past five years, maybe we've been okay. kind of going on vacation. Okay. So, but no, we didn't get anybody. I think we got more excited when people would, when we were telling people we were going to South Africa. Okay. Just the fact that we were going to Africa, period. I think a lot of people kind of just were excited about that. Yeah, I think some people were progressive yeah. on, your, on your side. Because yeah. I know a lot of times people are 
wanting to come and they're those trying to talk them out of it mm -hmm. uh, and so forth. Or when they get here, they're constantly, give me updates, give me updates. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then they're getting these updates and they're like, man, y'all eating where? Y'all doing what? Y'all yeah, yeah. <laughs> doing yeah. this? Y'all doing that? Yeah. Like, I didn't know that was even even a possibility yeah. in, in Africa, let alone mm -hmm. South Africa. Cool. You got anything that you wanted to, uh, to add? No, I want to ask, like, you said you used to travel. Did the kids normally travel with you? Yeah. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. So, did you have to convince them to come to Africa? The I'm going to say yes. Well, they're right there. I'm going to say yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to I'm I'm right ask there. Did your mom have to convince you to come to South Africa? For me personally, I was a little bit, like, hesitant to want to come. Just because... I don't know. There's a lot of places that we had talked about going to before, and on my list, so Africa wasn't up there yet. And I don't know. There was a bunch of like I, we talked about going to New Zealand and and um, Europe and Asia, all that stuff. And then out of nowhere, she's like, "Oh, we're going to Africa," and I was like, <laughs> "He's like, what the okay. hell?" <laughs> <laughs> Literally said, "Why y'all trying to avoid taking us to Europe?" <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, okay, yeah. okay. So now that you're here, I mean, as a it, young adult, like, tell me how it's been. It was just—it's been crazy. I mean, like, I didn't think I would enjoy it as much as I did, uh, or have been so far. A uh, lot of good food, a lot of good places, people. Just—it's kind of like. It's, it feels like almost like a homecoming a bit, you know, like yeah. you get the, you get here and then everything is just going like perfect. Like this is this is the vacation that you kind of dream of type thing. And I wasn't expecting that. So. Wow. Okay. Little one. I was I didn't, I didn't need convincing at all. I don't think so. I don't think you had to do. You said you wanted to go to Disney World instead of Africa. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> when did I say that? When I told you guys that Auntie Janique and the kids were going to Disney where you said, I want to go. I said, well, good. You can go with them and I'll save some money. <laughs> but I, I didn't directly say okay. I would rather go to Disney World. So um, you were like, you wanted to do both, basically. Yeah. Right. So now that you're here, you didn't need convincing. Like, which, as a, as a, you're a young person, you're under 15, right? Mm -hmm. So how, as a 14-year-old, how have you found South Africa? I think it's really fun. I've been enjoying it a lot. I like the places we've been going to. Um, I feel like the food has been good, but I'm not a, 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 a I'm a kind of eater, so mm -hmm. I've been eating a lot of the things that I probably eat at home. But when I do branch out, it's been it's been pretty good. So. She's like, when I do decide to taste something else. <laughs> um, what's been your favorite meal? What's been your favorite meal? Yeah, Nando's. Nando's. Yep. <laughs> Nando's. Nando's. Well, that's a, well, that's a lot of South Africans' favorite meal, Nando's. They, a lot of yeah. Africans. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, actually, my I like I like chicken licking. Y'all haven't had a chance to get it yet, mm -hmm. but chicken licking is, is incredible. I think they have it in the airport as well. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm gonna follow that up with since since we're talking about food and we just kind of went there. You, how have you been finding the food here? Because I think that um, you were a little skeptical as well. Yeah, I, um, I, I mean, and then of course I've been kind of seeing y'all videos, but <laughs> when I when I got here. The food, I don't know. It's it's almost feel like it's fresh, like it's like almost really. Almost feels like. Well, well, yeah, yeah. You know, it's <laughs> like I don't know. Like I, I can honestly say, like my my digestive system is seeing a little bit better here than okay. it has. Because I'm like Fair enough. Fair enough. the carrots. Like I remember having the carrots with my uh, steak, and I don't I'm, I don't do carrots really that much. Like I don't, yeah, I I maybe get them in some stew or if I have them like raw or something like with you know you have them with with. Uh, Dip. dip or something like that, but I don't do cooked carrots. But when I had it here, I was just like, man, this is like I could do this. Like <laughs> I'm sitting up there cutting them. I'm like, this is good. Sidebar this on the good. carrots, okay? Yeah. So and I know how you feel because I don't like any type of pepper, green, red, mm -hmm. orange, yellow. That too. Very first right. time here we're in Cape Town, um, and they bring me a salad and it's got peppers on it, and I'm like, I don't want to be that person that's like, I don't eat peppers. And I was like, you know what? I'm in South Africa. I'm gonna try something. I ate that pepper. I was like. That pepper tastes so good. I like peppers now. Get yeah. back home, eat a pepper. I don't like peppers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like peppers here. Yeah. I like peppers here. Food for you. Food for you. Uh, well, I did not. I, I kind of enjoyed the experience late. Mm -hmm. But Simba's? 
Is that what it's called? Sebus. Did you go to Sebus? Yes. Yes. Somebody's shaking the head. Thank you for I going. Love that I, was, I was going crazy. I was like, yeah. when did you have to go? I love that experience. That was, that was pretty cool. That was like. Yeah. I really wanted to do that again. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. No, yeah. Siba was my favorite place. Tell me what. Tell by me about far. It. I mean, everything was just like he. Well, we had a an appointment, I guess, for like um, massages or whatever, and I finished mine. I was the first one at the table, and I was waiting for all of them to show up. So I'm, you know, the only one sitting there. The guys keep coming around. They're asking me all these questions, like, "Oh, you know, what's on the menu? All this, like, what do you want?" asking me all this stuff and it was kind of overwhelming and I was just like whatever do the eight course I don't I'm not paying for it I don't, I'm <laughs> um so we did the eight course and he starts bringing out the food one by one they start showing up one by one and it's just banger after banger after yeah. banger the food and just was consistent it. you tried something different yesterday she hates seafood. And she right, was and she eating. She was like, "Mom, because yeah. I was gonna tell her not to put it on my plate." She said, "No, mom, it didn't taste like that. Like you gotta try it." <laughs> yeah. I'm impressed. I was impressed. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's um, like Seba's. You know, we actually got um, you know requested to come down to Cape Town some time ago to you know the, the, the place you stay to mm-hmm. you know see if it would work for our people. Mm-hmm. Um, then Seba's is a. I mean, she's she's an actual a, a celebrity chef. Kind of like any yeah. celebrity chef you find in the world, yeah. she's she's one for South Africans. She has a restaurant in there, so they they wanted us to come in there and try it out and make sure it's it's good for our people. So yeah. obviously, Thank it's you. good for our people. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for going. And she came by, and spoke to us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Trust cool. Me. And I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I like the fact that I can make a phone call and get people reservations. Like that makes me feel good. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I've got people coming. They're like, oh, we'll make a plan. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, so cool. yeah, but those, yeah, those are the types of things that, um, because you know, we spend a lot of time in the tourism space making things happen. Um, so I'm glad you guys had a, had a good experience yeah. down there in, in in Cape Town. The hotel was halfway decent, right? Oh, okay. yeah, halfway decent. View was okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, no, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like, had your own room, right? Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. That view was really good because that's what made me see that sunset. I was just like, I gotta get out back, get back out of here and take a picture. That sky is, is so yeah, that's, yeah. And as that's a ridiculous. photographer, like mm-hmm. in Cape Town, you literally see like mm-hmm. everything feels like a picture. It does. Yeah. It and does. your eyes can't catch it. You're like, how do I capture this? Right. Right. In my in my way. I definitely need more time to uh to to get the pictures that I want out there. Mm. Cool, so, cool, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Okay. So now your your journey. Now obviously you talked about, you know, um deciding to come here and what made you decide to come here. Mm-hmm. Now you guys are flying from the West Coast, so that's a that's no, a no, that's no. a good little ways. I mean that's that's nothing to sneeze at. I mean, how was your journey getting here? Your your you know, going international, your flights and all of that. How did that work out? Did that work out okay or was it was it was I'll it? let y'all talk about that. Because they've never flown that, that long right. before. I yeah. mean, it, the longest flight I think I've ever been on was probably maybe like five hours before yeah. this. And this flight was 10, close to 11. Yeah. And I mean, you know, the plane had like movies and entertainment, so it wasn't, you know, horrible. But um, it just, I I was like expecting to be just completely bored and dead. and. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't a bad experience, honestly. I would like knowing what I'm looking forward to coming back. I'm okay with flying ten plus hours, but even still, that's still a long time to be like, sitting <laughs> it, down it, on a plane. It is, it is, but I think at the end of the day, most people, worth it. yeah, most people it's say worth it. it's worth it. They don't even really think about that flight going back. Um, mm-hmm. But on the on the phone, we're talking to people on the phone. Oh, that flight's so long. I've only flown. Three hours before, you know, they think they're going to be on a Spirit Airline. <laughs> yeah, no, they do. They think they're going to be on. They literally think like all planes in the world are like you know JetBlue and things like that. But you got to carry your own bag on your lap. Yeah. Um, but so okay, so you saying it wasn't it wasn't too horrible? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Good. Had yeah, good service on there too. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. we flew we flew business right. Yeah, we flew business class. So. The yeah. premium. Yeah, cause they leg room. I mean, oh, yeah. I mean, at foot rest and, and a seat the, recline. And the food was actually good. I'm yeah. not going to lie. I like, will say the food on most international flights are actually really, really good. Yeah. Whether you're in, I mean, they do serve some type of dish from food in business class, but generally speaking, like the food is edible. You're not going to like die. I think they got tired of eating. 
I wish I told him. I no, said, because, because, because of the time zones, right? Time. Like they're literally waking you up. I said it's gonna be that way. Just like, I'm not hungry. I've woken up several times with like two things on my plate. I'll be like, hey, let me just eat the bread and give this back to you or something. Let me, let me ask you this. So, like, you guys are in the military, right? I was in the military too. So, we sitting up in here, we DOD up in here. <laughs> but do you think a lot of DOD, former, you know, military guys, retired guys, you think they should be looking at trying to, um, you know, come to South Africa as, as a tourist? Yeah. Of course. I, yeah. And I think because, you know, we were both Navy, um, but Africa is not a place that we normally hit as far as for forts and all of that. So, yeah. And that was one of the main reasons why I definitely was looking forward to it because my 20 year career, I've been all over the world, but I've never been to Africa. Wow. Exactly. And I've only seen it through the Suez Canal. But, and so just the fact that it was just like, okay, this is definitely a place I've never been before. Yeah. And, um, I think definitely, if, you know, I'm, and I'm definitely going to tell some of my friends back there, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I got to get here, I got to get here. Y'all yeah, want to bet? Heck yeah, we already said. <laughs> we, we already planned. We done tried to leave them behind. Like, whatever we got to do to not have it be too long. Look, we just going to go out and visit. Y'all be fine. We'll be back. <laughs> we some food out. Yeah, we already. Right. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going by myself. I, I don't know oh, how go. she's going. You, you know, I, I got my own me? job and all that. Like, I'll figure out a way to come back on my own. But, but, yeah. You know what? I got a passport. But, you know, if you never had this experience, you wouldn't even right. Right. No, no, that's true. And so that's why a lot of a lot of people. And that's why we're even doing this video because people need to see this so they can step out on their own. You know, my daughter, she's 24 now, and it's for me. You know, she's always 14 in my, in my mind. She's always going to be that. And uh, to see her traveling around on her own because I've taken her on trips. I borrowed here so many times, and so when she gets a little break, you know, she's a flight attendant. She's hey, daddy, I'm on my way, and she's a, she's a, she's. A, and I said, well, I'm going to send a car to pick you up. No, I want you to come pick me up. <laughs> I can send a car. You know? um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, you, you know, you're expanding your horizon just, just from this. So I think we've done our job when it comes to, so. you know, legacy and stuff like that. So I would say that we have. I mean, that's been the best part about this trip for me because people kept asking me, well, how the kids doing? Like, do you, do you think they're excited? I'm like, oh, I can't really tell right now. Yeah. But... From the very beginning, like I literally was saying to Kaylin, something about coming out here. She, what she didn't say was, well, when I get done with school, like that wasn't the words that came out of her mouth, which led me to believe like, wow, like I, I won't get pushed back, like no hesitation. And you know, Darius was like, well, after I get done with college, I'm like, that's fine, you know? Yeah. But yeah. I, no, I'm coming back though. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, it, if it happens to be before I finish college, so be it, but I'm um, do what I need to do. That's been the best part for me that my kids are enjoying it way more than I could ever imagine. Yeah. And that and that's beautiful. I mean, that's a gift you give to them. I mean, they can think about their first time in Africa. I know he mentioned, um, you know, his daughter, my stepdaughter. Um, we brought her when she was literally like 13 or 14 yeah, she years was old. Um, she yeah, was, yeah, she was much older. So and like she talked about it incessantly until she was like, when I graduate, what did she say? Yeah, I brought her here after gra graduation. Like, what do you have for graduation? Most people ask for like cars or something. She already had a car. She was just yeah. like, I want to go back to South Africa. I'm like, uh, yeah. I said, I guess you were about money. You were like, I won't go say. <laughs> we'll, we'll say no. I'm like, I'm like, and I was like, it's a daddy daughter trip. Y'all go ahead. And they came out here yeah, and the they had a blast. Because yeah. she was like, I want to like my mouth. And she, every chance she gets, it will be like this Hey, I get a break in this much time. I'm coming. We're like, okay. And then it's the, and I'm like, she coming. He's like, yup. I'm like, here you go again. <laughs> but, I, but I enjoy that. But if we had never brought her here and she got to eat the food and meet the people right. and just, mm -hmm. I mean, now that she's in her 20s, mm -hmm. yeah. it's a whole nother ball game for her. And she can see, she sees so much potential and so much yeah. possibilities here for her. Mm -hmm. And I like that because I know that she's not going to stay that side. Right. Eventually, she's going to be here. And that's kind of what we wanted to be anyway. Yeah. So that makes me happy. Yeah. So, okay, cool, 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 cool. Well, um, then you arrived. You got here, got off the plane, you're in South Africa. I know you're like, man, I'm, I'm, I'm just glad to get off the plane, first of all. <laughs> you know, what is it going to look like? I think you guys came here was during the day. Correct. On purpose. Yeah. Because sometimes <laughs> people get here at night, and then they, they, don't, they just 
trying to see something that, and there's, there's nothing to see. They're thinking they're going to be seeing giraffes and, yeah. and, and, and rhinos and things like that. But when you guys got off the plane, you was coming to this location where we are right now. What, what did you see? What did you see? I saw city. I All saw right. just like it is anywhere else. I mean, as far as like, uh, you know, the major cities in the U.S., it's like, you know, but the fact that we had a, a, a limo or kind of a guide to bring us here. And yeah. I was like, <laughs> okay, this is cool. And he was pretty, he was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it's just, that's, I felt like it was just like, uh, you know, any regular city. But at the same time, I did have this kind of like feeling of like, like, wow. Hey, my people. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, you see all, it's just like. Like, I'm back. Right. <laughs> you, you really feel like you at home. Like, you, right. you know. Mm-hmm. And it's and it's different from like, okay, yeah, in Atlanta or. DC or yeah. you know Houston or Dallas or something like that, but yeah, you get here and it's just like man, like it's it's, it's, it's 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 a it's a definitely different feeling of like being, you know, with your people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we got here and we looked out the window and I think Jermaine and I said to each other, "We're here, like we did yeah. today, like we <laughs> did it." <laughs> I mean, all the other places you've been through with the Navy and, mm-hmm. and your personal travels. And you get here, and it, it's it's different. I swear, it is. it's right. it's it is. different. Yeah. You know. So okay. So now let me let me ask you this. So now you guys have traveled to other places as well. What does this rank in your travels? A one. Uh, yeah. Top. Okay. Top. Wait a minute. He said one. In a lot of places. He said one without even hesitating. And I and I can I can honestly say that because, I mean, I don't think that you're gonna get that same experience um, that you would get here. I just I really feel that I feel like you know especially as a black person. I don't know if you will ever feel that kind of welcoming anywhere else. Yeah. Personally. Yeah, and that's why we, we keep telling people, hey, you know, I understand that, you know, you did your DNA and you're from here or you're mm-hmm. from there or, you know, I got um, tickets going to Mexico. I mean, mm-hmm. you don't get that down there. No. You don't get, no. you got all these other options, <laughs> you know, and then you're getting marketed, you know, all these different locations, all these European places. Uh, and I say Europe, but there's other places, and they just want you to come, which, you know, they should be doing that. Right. Um, but nobody nobody markets to us about Africa, South Africa, anything. If you find out, you find out on a whim, and then when you do find out, you're very skeptical because it's not what we know, mm-hmm. you know. So you guys getting here, so you, would you say that, that you guys were taken care of pretty well oh, yeah. since oh, y'all guys yeah. been here? Oh, you have to see my Facebook post. Uh, <laughs> you know, I was like, the real South Africa has done it again. <laughs> I'm like, man, like, we, I have felt so catered to what y'all think. Like, I'm just like, it's, it's almost over, though. I, I can't sense. never take a, I, I, another yeah, vacation yeah. without thinking about you. I'm like, they, they didn't do it. I'm going to be saying that that was not like. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, the, well the, short, the, the short version of that is is that my um, my sister came here, you know, Took them years to get here, but they came, and then they came here, and then they had to. Oh, we had a, a scheduled trip to the Bahamas, yeah, yeah. And so they went, and they sitting on the beach in Bahamas, saying, "Man, we should, we should, yeah, we should have just been in South Africa." <laughs> and I was like, I, "You know what?" And it's, you know, not to put them down, but I've been there too. We mm-hmm. was, you know, we, before we lived here, we still went on other little vacations. We went on two. Yeah, but then we stopped. We, <laughs> so we just came here all the time, mm-hmm. and it was always a different experience because you meet different people, mm-hmm. new people, you go different places, so. Is, I mean, even the stuff that, that, that we wanted you guys to see, there's so much more. There's, I'm dead. there's just I'm so dead. much more. Yeah. It all depends on the season, mm-hmm. um, you know, yeah. what's going on. There's always festivals. There's always, you know, young people. There's tons of stuff for young folks um, here because everybody's pretty much young. I don't know if you noticed it. Yeah. Everybody's walking around like kids, you know, they're, they're young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 30s and below um, and whatnot. So, okay. So, so, you, so you got treated well. And we made it easy for you guys, I, oh, I yeah. assume. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. I don't want you just to say it for for the camera, but then we no. make it easy for it, you. It was amazing. Yeah. Well, you know, my words I've been saying this whole time is they thought of everything. Yeah. You guys <laughs> thought of everything. Mm-hmm. Like I've never had any. I, I've used different people. Like you know, my side job is a travel agent, but I mm-hmm. definitely know where it's great as you. Oh, okay. You. My <laughs> my skills are not that great. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> because yeah. most of my time has actually been during COVID, so I right, need to hone right. my skills. But you thought of everything. Like, I've never had anybody plan a trip for me. Well, there was one other lady. But she was an older lady, and she'd been doing it for years. Mm-hmm. Like, she thought of everything as well. But you, you're the difference between my trip with you and my trip with her is 
there was no hitch. I got to Europe and I didn't have a, a hotel or a person waiting for me. So I had to wait yeah. for them to fix that. Yeah. That did not happen here. Yeah. Somebody it's, checked in with me to make sure, you know, like, I'm like, where you at? Every single You're like, oh my bad. I'm like, dude, where yeah. you at? <laughs> you know, and, it, and it really matters. And the reason I say that is because, you know, you got people who are booking trips and they're in the U.S. And let's say they're coming to South Africa. But if anything happens along the way, they're six, eight, nine hours behind, right. and you yeah. need something right now. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's that's one of the the, the benefit. It's one of many benefits of, of, of booking through us and working with us because if something goes wrong, uh, it's a phone call for us, and you know, and they know who we are. It's not like we're calling in the blind, but if somebody's in the states calling from wherever, yeah. you know, they, they don't know them, but yeah. the people that we're talking to know exactly who we are uh, and whatnot. And we make that a point because we want. We want our people for the first time, I'm going to say it, mm -hmm. for the first time to have these opportunities to get marketed to, get the yeah. opportunity to, to be taken care of. Yeah, to, to come <laughs> on a proper trip, Vacation. get everything done yeah. like you guys have been done. And then when you go back, then you can be like, huh, <sighs> I can relax. And now I know what the standard is. Right. This yeah. is what I should be right. looking it's for, <laughs> regardless of where I go. Yeah. Regardless, because you're paying good money. Yeah. yeah. You know, and if you're paying good money, you should get good service. You yeah. shouldn't be like, well, I just take fifty percent of my service. <laughs> no, 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 no. And so, so we don't do that. We haven't done that for uh, we've done that for anyone. We've had hundreds of people I think coming we, through. No, we have hundreds of people coming through. I think one of the other things too, I know, um, even even when it came down to like one simple question, I think you asked um, my assistant, and I think her response, or and I proved it. She was just like. Hey, I promise you somebody at the front desk can tell you how, how to get that done. Right. And within minutes, what did you do? You made a state that somebody figure right. out how to get your hair done right. within yeah. like two seconds. And you said they came here. Right. So how was that? Like, how did you, what did you do? That was, I just went down to the desk and said, hey, you know, I was told to ask you about <laughs> getting, getting me and my daughter's hair braided. And she's like, yeah, we did. Do you want to go to the salon or you want to take the girl? I was like, yeah, she can come to me. Great. When can we do it? I'm open tomorrow all day. I'll work yeah. around her schedule. Yeah, I even I even made a Facebook post about it. I was like, because I don't, when I say like guys don't really pay attention to what women do that much. Yeah, I'm trying right. to. But I was impressed. I was impressed with what that lady did to my daughter, and my my wife's hair, <laughs> and I was just like, yo, know, that's 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 dope. That's good. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so much so that I had to go. Idea. So much so I had to go to when I went to the mall here, the Mall of Africa, and I saw a barber shop there, and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna did you do it? Yeah. Yeah. It was and nice, I, right? It was nice. Do, you was like, wait a minute. Yeah. This, and I, <laughs> wait a minute. I think I might like this. Right. <laughs> and, they me up. and then when I seen the price of it, I was like, ain't no way. This ain't happening in the States. You nice. ain't getting that for that, that price in the States. No. We, have, like, we have lots crazy. of guys that come here that are like, so I see the barbershops around here. Is it possible? They're like, I want an all-day like man experience. I'm like, oh, that. It's like, but I got a bald head. I'm like, yeah. they don't care. <laughs> they make that joint shine. <laughs> They'll be in. I have guys that have been all. They get their hair done. They get their beards trimmed. Yeah. They get the hot towel, the facial, oh, the shoot. manicure, they the pedicure. They get, they get, they get, they get the arm massages massage. in they the get chair. Whiskey. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I ain't no dude. I like a good whiskey every now right. and then. But they, they yeah. take care. They, they yeah. do take care of you yeah. here. So, baby um, girl, what do you think about when you got your hair done here? It was, it was amazing. It was quick. Like, I mean. It was proper. Yes, it was. Um, and it was way cheaper than it <laughs> could ever be in the States. Yeah. Way cheaper. And it was done quick. And I, I thought it was amazing. Yeah. So much so that I was like, man, I want to get my hair braided again just yeah. just, for, just because. So they, know, <laughs> so they know black hair here for some odd reason. Yes. Obviously. Because <laughs> <laughs> literally, I just sent her a picture. Mm -hmm. I just sent her a picture. Yeah. And it was like, she brought, she, she, so she brought the hair yeah. and everything. Yeah, she sorted it out. That's what we do here. So you got spoiled from the day you got right. her. Right. Okay. okay, I see yeah. what you're saying. It, it happens. Okay. It happens. Yeah, so they can tell you that. They say you get you sorted. Oh, yeah. 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 They'll sort you out now. They'll sort you out. They'll sort you out and you just sit back. Yeah. Are you a wine drinker? Uh huh. Tell me how you've enjoyed the wine here in South Africa. Oh, that's been amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Like, I haven't had a bad bottle of wine yet. Yeah. Actually, but all the best wine in the world is, is in California. Yeah, you drink wine as well. Yeah, I'm not as much of a wine person as she is, but yeah, we went to uh, just a restaurant here and we had a waiter there who was a really good, great guy. Mm -hmm. Uh, he recommended us, he gave us a wine list, mm -hmm. but 
He gave us this one. What was the name of it? The, uh, it was a, it was a Merlot though. That's right. You think it's bullet or something yeah, like that? I'm that's cool. the best Merlot I've ever had. Seriously. Wow. Yeah, we had that two nights in a row. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And he hooked us up the second first night drink too. Here. Yeah, yeah. I had my first drink here. Um, <laughs> it was. I mean, I don't. I'm not obviously as experienced as they are with alcohol like that, but. Um, it just, it, yeah, it was, it was, I could taste the alcohol. Like, it just, it was, it was, nice. it was like I was drinking any other regular drink. It tasted amazing. And I Good stuff. would like to have it again. See, Mom, you're, you're training his he's, palate he's, well. He's up with you're training his palate well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Her face, she was like, mm. He's legal. That's yeah, the first thing yeah. you have to tell us. Yeah, here he is. He did tell me that multiple times. You know, yeah. legal age is 18. Okay, here it is. Okay. Yeah. She said, okay, yeah. tell me again. Yeah, but, but we do feel that our people on that side, I mean, as much as we go through, mm -hmm. we know we go through it, even at 14, we are going through it too, um, need this. We need yeah. we, we need to have something like this, have to. you know? And like I said, so we're glad that you guys participated in coming through and then uh, letting everybody know your story. So now, then you, you went to Soweto, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How was, how was that? Was, was it okay? That was... Eye opening. It was a very, very good experience. You learned a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just, you know, I mean, I know that you hear about the whole thing with the, you know, apartheid, but to really see it and be explained to you like that was, and, and Herbie was a, a great, great guy. Yeah. Um, but then also the fact that for me, when I, when we were walking through the museum, and I looked outside, and there was just like all of these school children getting ready to line up coming in there. I was like, mm -hmm. I was like, you don't see that in the states. Yeah. Like you, I don't learn much more about, you know, slavery that much until you get to college. Like you yeah. get a little bit of it in high school, but they're learning about it in grade school. Mm -hmm. I'm like, and they see everything. They they show them everything that happened. I'm like, yeah. you don't you won't get that in the states. Right. And you know, it's funny because their 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 parents. Their parents went through apartheid. Right. I mean, it was real. I mean, so right. a lot of my friends that I deal with here have told me a, a lot of stories about things that happened here. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're not talking about 18 something or something, mm -hmm. 17. They're talking about 1995, right. mm -hmm. 97, 2000. You know, well, not 2000. <laughs> but, but, you know, yeah. but I say 97 because it didn't just walk away. It was right. still here. So, yeah. Yeah, no. Even from like a younger perspective, because they, you know, learned about it, I guess, at school or whatever, but it was, you know, still happening. So it was not as much new information as we're supposed to be getting now. Mm -hmm. And since I just came out of high school, like, I didn't know half the stuff that happened that he was talking about on the on the tour. Just learning, like, all this stuff. I remember I told them that um, in my history book, you know, in my world history class, we had a chapter on South Africa. Mm -hmm. And we had a paragraph about apartheid, a simple paragraph, yeah. probably this big, and that was it. That's all I had information about, formally at least. And you know, even research online, yeah, they're not gonna tell you all that stuff. Yeah, it was it was very eye opening, and like, it almost made me want to like, honestly, live out there. Really, like, it was just that cool to see all those people like there and learn about their history and learn like what they're going through. It like kind of moved me, you know? No, that's good stuff. Most of those people, most of the people in Soweto, I mean, they know mm -hmm. who they are. I mean, they, they know, yeah. uh, unlike us, we, you know, we remember like, our grandparents and maybe a little bit further back, but they know, and they know what their names mean, not just their, their, their first name, but their surnames or their last name or their clan names. And, and it really, really matters. So, the culture is deep, and that's basically what you was feeling. Um, uh, as you spend more time here, you would get more into the culture, and you'd be like, you'd be looking at what we do, and be like, why we don't do that mm -hmm. as as people? Because I've I've done that and whatnot. But again, you come in, you saying what you're saying now. Other people are going to come, and other people came before you, and a lot of them decided to on their own to come back. You know, for the second, third, fourth trip. I know. Yeah, and 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 whatnot. I love so, it. Yeah. I I love but it. it's it's good that it opens, you know, open your eyes, and then of course your parents brought you. So, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> no, I I think that um, 
you know, I'm, I'm grateful because it was a, a long process because it was supposed to happen and then COVID, but you stuck with it. So thank you. Because some people gave up during COVID. They're like, ah, but you were like, what are the restrictions now? You know, but you, you still decided to do it. So I would say that unless they told me it was illegal for me to travel, <laughs> I'm getting on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going. Yeah. It's illegal. <laughs> But, no, but, but you know what's funny? Cause, and, and I just thought about it. You know, you guys came, and then, of course, a lot of people that we have with other people on the on the trip, because we don't just do big groups. Like, okay, you got to come on this date. Yeah. Because when you come as a group, which we do groups and we like groups, but when you come as individuals and, and like families, you get to do more intimate things. And you get to move about. It's easy for us to move you about. And then, of course, we had another family that was here as well, a family of four, you know, basically going through their paces. We had three as well. families of four at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we might have some more. I don't know. Yeah, they, yeah. at least, were just at least everywhere. three. Yeah, they were but, everywhere. But we got it all managed out. Uh, it's not just us, believe me. There's some, some other entities involved that, that make sure things happen. But, the you know, um, but it's, it was funny to for us to, to see you guys come together and yeah. just... They're like, I'm like, we at the table, we eating yeah. some good food, yeah. and you know, they're from Dallas, and then of course you guys are from from there, right? From yeah. 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 So it's it's good. So people are coming here. People are coming, you know, tremendously. A lot of times, you know, like some people don't do like what we're doing right now. A lot of people, and that's fair. If, you know, they come here on vacation to do what they come to do, mm -hmm. um, and then some people, there are those that are like, had they didn't want to. They're like, I don't want to do a video. And then they're tapping me on the door. Hey, can we do a video? Because <laughs> they want to tell people, you know, yeah. you know their their story and what happened. Hopefully, that they can, you know, um, you know, get somebody else here. So, so overall on your trip, because you guys, um, yeah. So overall on your trip, mm -hmm. tell me about it. I mean, so far, I mean, you guys been here for a little while. None of us want to go home. That's for sure. I'm already thinking about hey, you when, when I, I can get back. Want to go home. She no. just keeps saying it. I don't want to leave. I said, I just, what do you mean? You don't want to leave. Kate telling her you don't want to leave South Africa. She said both. Wow. Why, why, do you, why don't you want to go home? I mean, I'm not saying you're not going home. You know? <laughs> but um, I just think it's so beautiful here. And the experience that I've been having is just, I love it. I love it so much. I really don't want to go home. No. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everybody, I text my friends every day telling them you know what's going on and every time they're asking me oh like when are you coming back i'm like honestly if it was up to me i wouldn't but you know <laughs> you, it's it's just i like i went like when we got here it felt like home i haven't it, there was no transition there was no shift i got off the plane and i it felt like i was back mm -hmm. in my own hometown yeah. Other than the fact that we uh, traveled right. so long to get here, but it was like, if I can hit the ground running, like I don't even need no sleep. Let's just go, right? No, that's what you did, though. <laughs> that's what you did. Well, so there was no, no shock, no culture. Like you guys really just was like, okay, we're here. Let's just yeah. like um, right. right. Like I'm ready to go. There was uh, for me, there was like a bit of a surprise just because you know what they tell you on TV or like what they yeah. represent africa to be like back home is you think it's something like completely out of this world but you get here and it's just like any other regular place and it's just well obviously with more people that look like me that's great yeah kind you of know, right <laughs> so i do want to ask you guys about dinner the other night how was it the dinner with, with all of us not see but the other one we ate uh, yeah. all oh of that us. place was amazing yeah it was it i was. definitely want to go back there i mean the the food was Great. <laughs> the the live music was amazing. Yeah. The atmosphere was just at one point I thought we got too loud, but then I saw right. I saw other people around. So I was like, oh, okay. Thing. I was just like, it's like, it's like I'm talking loud. Yeah. <laughs> it's like some you know in the states sometimes you see a whole group of black people, then people might be looking at but you. But the whole get room was black people. Right. Right. Everybody like, right. was all black. And everybody was loud at their own little Correct. table. And it was I was just like, like, oh, they being loud. We good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, because we're used to watching our manners, especially when we get in public exactly, spaces, exactly. you know, or it's cold switch or whatever the word mm -hmm. is. But um, here, you could just be yourself. Yep. You know, and so you know, you know, to you guys' point, you know, don't think that, you know, I mean, adults, uh, proper adults, you know, older folk feel the same way. We got people that call us on a regular basis. 
hey, what do I got to do to give back? What, I, what do I have to do? Or uh, like us, I mean, that's why we're sitting here because we got we got bit too. We, we came in like, man, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. And um, we kept coming back. I mean, I think I had like at least 12, 13 trips before. We literally said I we want to pay our deposit for our next trip before we Right. Go. And we like, we, we seriously <laughs> got this like. Oh, we, 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 we coming back here. Yeah. And we're going, there, what we do? Yeah. What we do? And that's what we, we said. said. <laughs> that's what but, going to and it's funny because you touched on something, right? The fact, like Jermaine talked about, we've traveled different places. And I've always tried to like, okay, well, I'm going to go to this place. But before I go back to that place, I'm, I got to go to a new place that's right. on my list. But that has really literally went out of my head. I'm, yeah. all, I'm now I'm like, well, I could just go to Africa. I can move there, mm-hmm. and then I can go visit them other places right. once right. I get to so where I need to be. You did have another place you're going to go, and but you said you were going to go someplace. Since I remember you mentioned it, you had another. Yeah, we went to. Uh, going to go after this trip. You had another trip. Yeah, New Zealand. I, I want to do New Zealand. I talked about. Um, but you're still on my list, definitely. I, I was wanting to do a cruise, basically. She's like, moving I still want to go to New Zealand. I've been to Australia, but I've never been to New Zealand. Okay. So I kind of want to experience that. But now I'm like, can I just get to South Africa? And then I can go on trips from there. Yeah, but, right. That's, yeah, because we like, do have cruises yeah. here as well. Yeah, well right. Cruise, people go to Mauritius. I was like, I can still get to those places. No, you can't. <laughs> well, it's closer. But I can see myself coming here multiple times. Literally yeah. taking this trip several yeah. times before I do anything. Thing else. Yeah. 100%. And I feel, I, mean, like, I feel like everything that is in oh, literally just even just from South Africa, but I feel like that every place that you want to go to in the world, you can't get here. Like you can go to Cape Town and get the beach if you want to do that, or even some of the other beaches off the coast of Africa. Oh, I tough. mean, it's like you get everything that like every other continent that you probably want to go to, maybe unless you want to get some really like cold, cold snow or something like right. that. But other than that, I feel like you can get everything here. Yeah, and you can I actually get that cold, cold snow. Uh, you go to Lesotho. <laughs> oh, really? Um, yeah, you go to right Lesotho. Now, Matter of fact, it's, it, that's, it's landlocked inside of South okay. Africa. Yeah. Obviously, we watched Black Panther. Yeah, yeah. And remember the, the, the guy that's that was right, that, that right. wearing yeah, the blankets? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Those are people from Lesotho. Um, Lesotho. Oh, okay. And that's what I mean. When you get to Lesotho, you start going up, yeah. and it's, it snows, and it's cold. And, oh, wow. You know, and then we have our Drakensburg's, um Mountains Range, mm-hmm. you know, kind of like the Appalachian or the other one on the other side. It's oh, that okay. one over there on the West Coast. I can't even remember. The, U, the U.S. There's another mountain range. Right. Oh, the Rockies. Uh, yeah, yeah, the Rockies. Look, it's, like, it's been so long. I but like yeah, it. but we have we have mountain ranges here, and then we have, but we do things a little different. We do we have a lot of leisure spots okay. uh, up there as well, where you can you know relax, you know. So okay, okay. It's a nice place to decompress. I mean, I know you've had about 39 million massages since you've been here, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even hating you for because I understand why you have to have so many because you're like. Not that it's cheap, but it is affordable. Right. And they yeah. do an amazing job. And you're like, I want another I'm, one of those. I'm literally tomorrow. trying to throw away money. I'm, I'm going to go back home mm-hmm. with money that I have planned for this. So you had, so you had budget to spend. I did. And mm-hmm. you haven't spent very no. much. But you're trying. I'm trying. Mm-hmm. Okay, good luck. I'm trying. <laughs> you know, and, I it, love it. and it was something that we talked about at the table, you know, um, I don't know if you heard us, but. And I want everybody else to hear that, you know, it matters. Like when you, when you come here and you, you know, just come in here, even if you don't even tip, you come in here, it provides a job for those same people you saw in some way to mm-hmm. get to go to work, um, which is, which is a good thing. And that's why I think we need to do our part, you know, as African-Americans to come visit places like this. Mm-hmm. But then if you decide to give a tip, I mean, it's, it, it, it does a lot. It, does, it yeah. does a whole lot. And so I just wanted to say that again on video because I'm like, people do need to come. And do their thing. They don't have to drop massive um, yeah. investments and stuff like that. Just come and just, you know, if somebody do a service for you and you feel like they gave you mm-hmm. something, if, just give them a tip and they'll be so happy. And you know what? I, so I, I don't even feel bad. <laughs> like, going over to other places in the world, you obviously want to get people paying and all this other stuff. And you kind of want to like, ah, whatever. But here it's almost like you feel good giving it to them because you, mm-hmm. you see that it definitely... They, they 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 like it. You know, it's gonna do something for them. Yeah. They don't look like that. They're just like trying to beg for money to go off and do whatever. Yeah. And you feel like, well, I'm giving back to these people because they look like me anyway. Yeah. Instead of giving back to somebody else, so I, I really do feel like, like when I, if you give somebody a tip here, it's, it's like, it's a good feeling. Yeah, it's really appreciated by them. They they remember you. They, I mean, I I I don't even think I gave a tip at the place in Cape Cape uh, Town. But the, the person that there, he remember my, every time I walk by him, he, he already knew my name. Hey, Mr. Becker. Hey, Mr. Becker. Yeah. I'm like, dude. I gave, <laughs> I gave him a tip. 
You probably okay, so that's probably why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's why he knew my name. Yeah. But still it's 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 like, yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten that treatment. Either. So this is a tricky question. Obviously you've been to Cape Town, you've been here. Um, and tomorrow you're going to spend three days out in the bush and it's going to be amazing. I'm, I'll admit, I'm a little bit jealous because I know where you guys are going. It is like Pamper City. Yeah. Just so you know. Yeah. Um, Looking forward to it. It's, no, it's like, cool, so. yeah, I, like, I'm, you see, I'm, I'm regretting like, yeah, like, <laughs> I'm a, I shouldn't be jealous of like a girl that whenever I want, but I'm like, God, you guys get to go tomorrow. Um, not, not flipping a coin and you have to pick one or the other, but like, um, how would you how would you rate the two? Like so far between Johannesburg and Cape Town. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, for me, Johannesburg is definitely the place to be. Joburg feels like home. Cape Town felt like I don't know. I feel like I would be a tourist in my own city if I lived there. If that makes sense. Yeah. I I, I said I found myself if I lived in Cape Town, I'd be annoyed by the amount of people who are there. I'd be like, go home. Right, and it's not in my home, right? Like, how can I be like go home when I'm I'm not even from there per yeah. se? But yeah, it, I just didn't. Yeah. I didn't. It didn't feel like home. It felt like I, it would be a place that I go visit as a tourist. Mm-hmm. Sure. It didn't feel like it could ever be home, if that makes sense, mm-hmm. compared right. to here. Yeah. yeah, right. And it's like they you compared Cape Town to San Diego, mm-hmm. and it looks just like San Diego to me, honestly. Like. I'd sent pictures to all my friends. I was like, bro, this is, like, we live here. There's this, I'm saying, tell them, like, let's come here. This is San Diego now. Forget, <laughs> forget what you know. <laughs> um, but, you know, it, you can tell there's definitely a difference between Cape Town and Johannesburg. And for me, I really like the the um, energy here in Johannesburg. Um Cape Town to me is just a bit nicer looking, obviously, you know. Mm-hmm. But um, if I had, if it, if it were up to me and I lived here and I had to rank them, I would put Johannesburg up there. If you want that um, that good home, good feel, mm-hmm. and if you want just like a little nice escape, a pretty place to go see, Cape Town is number one. But to me, they're interchangeable. They're just is that good. Yeah. I couldn't. I wouldn't be able to. Yeah. Little person has something. I see her thinking. Um, what you got? I think Cape Town does look a little bit more like home to me, but at the same time, I feel like Cape Town is like San Francisco for me. Like it's like a really like touristy area. There's a lot of people, and um, with Joburg, I do feel like it's more of a place to live. It's a, it's a nice home feeling for me, and I would probably rather live in Joburg. Of course, I still think Cape Town is beautiful. It's a really nice place to visit. Mm-hmm. But I, again, I don't think I could live there. It's just a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, I'd say the same thing. Uh, definitely the vibe here in Joburg. You definitely feel more at home. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cape Town is beautiful. Like, for me, as a photographer, I would probably be yeah. going down to Cape Town a lot yeah. just for the pictures. Yeah. Just for, you know, the views and the mountains and all of that stuff and the seas and, the, and all of that. That would be my reason for going to Cape yeah. Town. But if I'm saying I'm going to live somewhere, yeah, it'd be Joe Bird. No right. doubt. Yeah. yeah. You know, Cape Town is, t- when it, the, the views is, I mean, it's, it's un- unparalleled. you yeah. got to go. Right. And so that's why we do send people down there. They go and they like, first thing they say is, man, this place is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. I'm just glad you were able to add it at the last minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. So, so. Thank you. We do I appreciate it. That's my bad, you yeah. know. But when I first you get, no, you get me time. when I, I first was put the tri- well, I told him I said he was like you should ask. I said I'll ask. We'll yeah. see what she said. You were so cute. Otherwise, he, this man was gonna basically make it happen. <laughs> he was cracking me up. He was like, I know it's a little last minute, but can we cut off a couple? And I was looking, and I looked at the time, and I'm like. This will make sense, and I'm making phone calls, but I'm but I'm glad I was able to make it happen. It Thank really you. it really wasn't that big of a deal. I was just like, you really want to go to Cape Town? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why don't you stay here in Joburg with me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, you know to, to 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 move it on. I um I'm excited. Believe it or not, you probably think like he's just saying he's excited. No, we just went to a, a, a game lodge in, in the northwest. There's hundreds of game lodges yeah. in. In, in South Africa, we went to one of the ones in Northwest Province. Um, 
this the other day, and I like being in a game lounge. It's, I, so, it's, nice. it's so outside. It's but it's so is it's posh, especially the one that you guys are going to. Oh my god! And the animals are probably going to be walking around, and you're going to be like, "Wow, okay, they're right there." And yes. you know, and it's no big deal. And you could just sit, you know. And then of course, you know, somebody's coming up with a tray. Here's your drink, and yes, you, and you live it, <laughs> and and you're actually living. And so, with with the, what you guys have already done, and then I can only imagine what you guys. Well, I already know, I already know what you're going to do when you get there. You guys are going to be stunned. And you're going to have issues um, when you go back. Uh, I hate to say you're going to go back. And the, the, the issue is that you're going to tell other people, and they're not going to believe y'all had this experience. Yeah. So at least y'all got each other mm-hmm. to be Talk able to about, say, yeah, remember, that, remember that <laughs> night yeah. when we was out there and they were saying, don't go back to your room because there's lions. And you're like, oh, there, there is no lions. And then you go yeah. outside and you hear this. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lion. Yeah, don't. Yeah. And, and, the middle, like, yeah. Yeah, don't. and, he, and he's just breathing hard. Yeah. And you, you can hear that thing, and it, it makes you think. And then some of the animals you're gonna see, like we was, we was at um, one, and, and the, we was at the water hole, and they had this little thing called a hide, where you can hide, they can't see you, and you're right there, eye level with the water hole. And then this elephant just walks up, and he's just drinking, and you know, like, he just walks up, and then he leaves whenever he's done. He that leaves, like drunk a few gallons of water, and he left. I <laughs> mean, this is so cool. <laughs> it, it, and this fun as many times as we go to the bush, and we do probably go often all the time. And we actually <laughs> post. It's never, it's never enough. Yeah. It's never enough. Yeah. It's just like when you see the animals and you see them in their natural habitat, you actually realize how small you actually are in the grand circle of things. Because mm-hmm. it's not like you can walk up and pet one that's not just a <laughs> wild animal. You know what I mean? Um, and just to see them do what they do. And like the elephant he was talking about, he the elephant could see us, and he was he made sure he was like, I see you right there looking at me. I was like, okay. <laughs> and then he blew water at us. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but the good part about it is, you know, too, you know, you're gonna go on these game drives. It might be cold. But, you know, you get past that. Um, <laughs> you get brought past coats. That. Yeah, yeah. You, you get, plus, they have stuff to put on you and whatnot. You know, they're gonna be like. Like if you want to go on a morning game drive, it's early, dark, like early, you gotta get an early go. Mm-hmm. And then you, if there's an evening game drive, and of course there will be, yeah. and then you're gonna to say to yourself as Americans, oh, I've already been on one. No, you haven't. Go. Go. Well, go, they, to, go to that one too, because yeah. this is a yeah. different He's experience. He's gonna be on every boat moving every day. No, <laughs> they <it's>, know. <laughs> but, but the thing it was is, the reason I came. Every, <laughs> every, every, game, every drive you go on, it it's is different. never the same, which is why when they have the two a day, you're like, I'm getting on the truck. Or Kruger was his decision because when I saw mm. it, and I just, I was originally just Joe like I said. Mm. And when I mentioned to him, hey, we're going to Africa, like, you know, he's like, okay, I plan trips all the time. He's yeah. like, well, yeah. we're going, right? And he's like, well, if we going, he started looking, we're going, we're we not that far from Kruger. Ask me if we can go to Kruger. I mean, so, you are far from Kruger, right? <laughs> it's an eight hour drive, but I, right. I got yeah. your flight yeah. to sit. No one's making that drive. Yeah. Um, but you're gonna love it. Um, you're gonna have some amazing pictures. Yeah, Please make sure fun. you share those with well, us I will. because I. Herbie actually actually told me too because like I got his phone number on what's yeah, yeah. He's like, hey, yeah. you gotta send me some pictures. Like, yeah, 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 like, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk to you about too. birds at all. Birds. I, 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 birds I, I've researched them, so yeah. yeah, I know what I'm looking. For. When you get ready to talk about birds, just make sure you shoot Herbie mentions. He'll be like, "This is what this bird is. Okay. He knows yeah. everything." Yeah. Um, but you're gonna you're gonna love it out there. It's it's an I hope to. I want to hear what they have to say, actually, because it's, um... I mean, I'm looking something. forward to it. It's something. I'm really f- looking something. forward to it. I mean, I've never seen animals outside of the San Diego Zoo, right? Like, it, it, to see them in their, in their natural habitat is just... I'm, I'm so excited to see it. Because the elephants... I, I, I like the elephants the most. People like, you know, the, the cats and whatnot. Like, we just saw the... What was it? The cheetahs? We was, so yeah, we was like in our, you know, in our vehicle, and you're sitting, and they're just sitting right there. I mean, I mean literally, I mean, that thing's in between you. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, they saw the zebras or zebras down the thing, and they they both perked up, and then they went into they went into attack mode, mm-hmm. literally and, and, you know, a little like closer. And, and, and you and we just sat there and watched. I'm like, this is so cool. Um, and, and, it, and it happens, and uh, but being I part worried of about that, I'm like, oh, you see. might, yeah. you might, but being, it's okay. being part of nature for, <laughs> for a little while, like, I, I like the zebras, I don't, I don't yeah. want to see them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking about my but, 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 you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, in that same scenario, they was crossing a path, and every time they crossed the path, one of the uh, one of the, the, the more mature zebras would stop and look, 
and then the the, uh, the little ones will go behind them. <laughs> and then he will go, and then another one will come here. Look. It was, a, it was weird. There was, there was, was this whole system this thing, about how they and it's just nature. Stuff, and it's yeah. just nature. Yeah. We did get to see a leopard as well, which is very rare. That's okay. what I hear. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, that, that yeah. That's that's like, we of, followed that leopard. You about that it was night? That, it was that night, right? It was that night. Yeah. So but what's funny night. about leopards is that like they they roam for real, for real. And a lot of the game lodges we've been to, they're like, hey, just so you know. There was a leopard that walked through here last night. Please don't go after 7 o'clock. You're like, what? And they're like, yeah. On the cameras, you'll see him. And the leopard will just be walking through the lodge. And you're like, yeah. oh, I don't want to be leopard. <laughs> <laughs> because, and this is something that you, and I'm probably getting a little long, but the, what you need to understand about these lodges, you know, like in the state, if it was the U.S., they would just clear out all this land, right. put a parking lot, mm -hmm. and put all this and build a building somehow. With the Real South Africa. Actually, I'm the owner of the Real South Africa, and I'm inviting you guys to South Africa. Obviously, I'll tell you what, we have a real estate tour, and I'm sure you guys may have heard about it. If you haven't heard about it, it's going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to several different locations here in Johannesburg to look at property. Now, some of us are in the markets already in the U.S., or we're looking for retirement, or we're looking for situations where we can lock up and go and just spend time here part-time but all these things are going to be covered while you're here the good part about all of this is that um, we're going to get this done professionally we're going to bring in all the professionals that you need to come look at these homes that you're that you're seeing behind me and then you get access you get an opportunity to, to speak one on one with the right people who can assist you in purchasing these homes so whatever questions you may have, whatever you're thinking, whatever you feel that needs to be done, this is when it's going to happen. Um, this is pretty unique. Matter of fact, it's very unique for South Africa because it's never been done before. But we're going to do it here with the real South Africa. We're pretty excited because we've brought so many people over the years to South Africa as tourists. And one resounding thing is they come here and they're like, oh, I just want to have come, come and have a good time. But then they get here and they're like, oh my God, I, I want to stay. And then they're later on inquiring about places to live, real estate, you know, things like that. So we just decided to say, you know what, let's just make it available up front. And so the trip is going to be in November and all the details are on the website. And it's going to be an amazing trip. And then after you finish, you know, looking at homes for several days and, and five um, separate estates, um, throughout South Africa, and these are all gated estates, by the way. Um, but the price points um, are uh, they're, they're perfect. That's basically all I can say. Um, and especially those that are, you know, in the in the market for some international property, this is it. This is the time, and this is now. So I would say get on this trip. We're only going to bring 50 people on this trip for one reason only, because we want those 50 people to get some exclusive access. We want them to get expert and personal access so they can they don't have to wait in a wait in a long line to just get questions answered. Everything is, is done expertly. So when they leave they can either purchase a property or at least have the the option to purchase a property. They will understand the whole process and then they, they actually get to see homes and how they're built here in South South Africa. And they're pretty nice I would say. So um, yeah after that then you go to a nice little resort where you're gonna hang out for a little while, a little game drive, a little outdoor activity, um, and all that's covered um, on the website. So we hope to see you guys here on Sunny South Africa. Make sure you let everybody know, hey, this is what's going on, and uh, yeah.
thank you so much for spending time with us today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notifications button so you don't miss out on all things The Real South Africa. Thanks again.